What have cheese, limes, and grapes got to do with birth control? Well, this video looks at a new, natural, non-hormonal birth control method known as FEX and whether it may be suitable and effective for you. Hi, welcome back to the channel. I'm Dr. Sylvia, a fellow of the Royal College of General Practitioners in the United Kingdom and founder of Ask Away Health. This channel is all about health explanation videos, so if you're interested in accurate health information, make sure you browse through our playlists and the rest of our videos. Now, my natural health enthusiasts, so there's a new non-hormonal birth control option that may be interesting to you, and it's just been released about 12 to 15 months ago in the United States, and if you don't live in the US, it may be on its way to you sometime soon. Presently, there are many issues with available contraception. Even even the most effective ones can have troublesome side effects like bleeding problems, acne, headache, mood problems, weight gain and so on. This new method may help to address some of these issues for some women. Fexi comes as a gel made of three ingredients, lactic acid, citric acid and potassium bitartarate. Lactic acid is naturally found of course in some dairy products like yogurts and cheese while you can find citric acid in limes and oranges. Potassium bitartarate is also known as cream of tartar for those of us who cook and produced from grapes fermenting during the wine making process. Now, how is all this related to a birth control method I hear you ask? Well, let's go back to basic biology. The vagina is naturally acidic with a pH of around 4, while semen is naturally alkaline with a pH of about 7.5. Usually during sexual intercourse, when sperm enters the vagina, it temporarily increases the vagina pH so that it becomes alkaline, allowing the sperm contained in the semen to survive and go ahead to fertilize an egg if one is available. So going back to our cheese, grapes and limes, the essential component of these materials that contain the ingredients for fixing is that they are acidic, so lactic acid, citric acid and potassium bitartarate. So when you use this gel, it keeps the vaginal pH low, that is acidic, so that sperm are not able to travel within the vagina and up into the womb to fertilize an egg. Voila! Contraception. The gel also covers the womb opening and so prevents sperm from getting through the vagina into the womb. So that's how it works. But how do you use it? Well, FEX is designed to look and feel as if you were inserting a tampon. The gel is applied directly into the vagina through a pre-filled vaginal applicator. Each applicator comes as a single dose. The manufacturer states that it works immediately and up to one hour after it's been inserted. However, you need to use a separate dose every time you have a new sexual encounter that involves the penis getting into the vagina. Now, two of the key questions you must always ask about any birth control method you're considering is how effective are they for you and how suitable. So, let's see how FEX measures up. First, is it suitable? 1. If you've had problems with hormone-containing birth control methods or you don't want to use the pill, the patch, the injection or the coil and so on, then FEX may be suitable for you. Number 2. It will be best if you are committed to using this method every single time that you have sexual intercourse. So just think about inserting a tampon, for example, every single time you have sex. So if it's three times in a day, then it's three separate doses of sex. This gives you the best chance that it works to prevent pregnancy. Number three, FEX does not cause an abortion. It would not work if you are already pregnant. Number four, it is not suitable if you have frequent urine infections. Women who suffer with frequent UTIs should avoid FEX as it might worsen their conditions. If you'd like to learn more about naturally preventing repeat urine infections, make sure you check out this video I've got on my channel here for loads of useful tips. 5. If you suffer from a sore or dry vagina for whatever reason, then this gel may not be suitable for you. And again, in this video, I share common causes for dryness or irritation within the vagina. 6. Fexia gel will not be suitable for you if you suffer with frequent thrush or vaginal yeast infections, bacterial vaginosis, 
or abnormal vaginal discharges. And seven, if you or your partner are allergic to any of the materials contained in Fexi, have a look at the list here, then please avoid using it. And number eight, studies on Fexi have shown that one out of 10 male partners have experienced burning, pain, and irritation to the penis after their partners used Fexi. Now, let's look at how effective Fex is or not. If you're looking at non-hormonal forms of contraception, the most effective that we have to date is the copper IUD or the copper contraceptive coil. It can be used as a form of regular contraception or as an emergency contraceptive method. So it is definitely more effective than Fexi, but some women do not want to use the coil or develop side effects from using the coil, so have to stop it anyway. However, the copper coil comes with an effectiveness rate of above 98% and according to the studies on Fexi, when 100 women used it, 14 of them fell pregnant, giving Fexi an effectiveness rate of about 86% when used typically. That said, it does appear to stack up quite nicely against the other forms of natural birth control methods like the withdrawal method, using the calendar or rhythm method, the diaphragm and the condom and using spermicides. And so to get the best use out of FEX, the advice is to combine it with another form of natural birth control, such as the condom or the withdrawal method and others I've just mentioned. Just before I go, a common question about FEX is, is it different from spermicides? They work similarly. Both of them prevent sperm from moving from the vagina into the womb and can cover the neck of the womb to prevent the sperm from getting through to fertilize an egg. But their ingredients are quite different. The main component that prevents pregnancy in the spermicide is known as noloxinol 9 which is a chemical that can stop the sperm from moving to fertilize an egg. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments what you think about this new birth control method and whether you think about using it. Don't forget that you can learn a lot more about birth control and other sexual health issues by watching my playlist. Check out this link here. And if you would like to have a chat with me about a birth control issue, you can arrange a one-to-one -one chat. The link is in the description box below as well. Don't forget to give this video a like, especially if you found it helpful and share with a friend and subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so you know every time we publish new health information videos just like this every week. Next time, we're going to be looking at signs of illness never to ignore. So make sure you've turned on your notifications to know when that video goes live. And while you're waiting for that video to come out, check out these two here and I'll see you again soon.